Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster, and over the past couple of months, the Black Series has revealed a absolute ton of figures. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about over 50 Star Wars Black Series figures that have been either officially revealed or pipelined because you might have missed a few of them. And like I said, there are a ton that have been revealed over the last few months. But real quick, we're actually doing a Star Wars Black Series giveaway. We're giving away this Black Series Cobb Vanth. Now, you do have to be subbed to enter, so make sure you go down and hit the like button, subscribe, and then go comment on that giveaway video. It'll be pinned in the card and linked in the description. You do have to comment to enter, and I'll use a random comment generator to pick the winner. And there is just over a week left to enter, so if you haven't yet, make sure to go and comment on that video so you don't miss out. So moving right along with the video, we do have first up all of the mainline waves that have been officially revealed. So first up, we do have wave 36. This wave does consist of six figures. First up being Jabim Obi-Wan, which is actually Obi-Wan's Jedi robes from the final duel of the Kenobi show, if you didn't know. But there's also the fourth sister Inquisitor, Imperial Officer Tala, or I guess Tala in her Imperial Officer disguise. There is Darth Malak, as well as Bastila, both from the Old Republic. Or I guess it's actually from Knights of the Old Republic, as well as Vel from Andor. So overall, I think this is a pretty mid-wave. I think the Obi-Wan is great, definitely going to pick him up. And I think the KOTOR figures are pretty cool as well. And of course, the fourth sister is definitely my number one figure from this wave. But the other two with Tala and Vel, I just don't really care that much about those characters. And I think it really blows my mind they decided to double pack Tala. I think she's a cool character, but I don't think it's worth double packing. I think she's definitely going to be a peg warmer. Anyway, next up is Black Series Wave 37, and this one is a killer wave. Super excited for this one. We do have Ahsoka in her Seasons 3-5 through 5 outfit from The Clone Wars, one of my most anticipated figures of the year. We also have the Phase 2 Clone Trooper in its plain white outfit, or I guess plain white armor. This one is awesome. It does have some updated articulation, as well as some updated molds in this figure, so super, super excited for this one. We also have the Magna Guard, finally getting some more Separatist droids in the line, especially in that Clone Wars packaging. I'm super excited for that figure. Like I said, we definitely been needing Separatists in the line, so a Magna Guard is a great place to start. Then we do have some repacks. We do have Wicket and Chewbacca, both from the 40th Anniversary Wave 1 and 2. They have been repacked in the mainline packaging. This is pretty standard for Black Series, so I'm not too surprised. They tend to do that with a lot of their 40th figures. They just tend to repack them in the main line. We also have Season 2 Omega from the Bad Batch, and this one, honestly, I'm pretty excited about. I think she is a big upgrade in this outfit compared to her Season 1 version, so really excited for this one. And yeah, definitely picking her up just to replace that, that Season 1 version, because I think this one is far superior. Anyway, Black Series Wave 37 is expected to hit stores in late 2023, so we might start seeing some overseas, like maybe September at the very, very earliest. But honestly, I don't think we're going to start seeing these figures until like October, November, December, uh, realistically. Anyway, moving on to Wave 38. This wave isn't even supposed to hit stores until early 2024. I believe it's like March, February, which is kind of late to me considering that it was announced in like March, February of this year. So, you know, a year wait time for these, kind of surprising. But overall, I think there's some great figures in this. This is been dubbed the Book of Boba Fett wave because all these figures are from Book of Boba Fett. But I will say this one is kind of another mid-wave. I think that the Mandalorian is definitely the star of this wave. Brand new sculpt for Din Djarin, head to toe. Absolutely love that. He does come with the Darksaber as well as his jetpack and a soft goods cape. So a lot going on in this figure that I think are some big improvements compared to the last version. This is definitely going to be the definitive version of Din Djarin in the line. Next up is the Pike Trooper, and this is one that I could kind of care less about. I think the Pike are pretty cool, and I like seeing them in different uh, parts of the Clone Wars and Book of Boba Fett, but all in all, they're just background aliens, so I'll probably pick one up for a background alien, but other than that, I'm not really army building Pike soldiers. Uh, compared to like a Clone Trooper or a Storm Trooper, I'm army building those. So, I mean, they're pretty cool. I'll pick one of them up, but one will probably be the most. Up after that is the Tusken Chieftain, and this one is also all right it's just, i don't really collect tuscan raiders that much i think i think it's a cool design but it's nothing that really stands out super to me but if you like it you do you go ahead and pick them up uh each of these guys are two per case so that'll be pretty cool most of these should be pretty available and then we do have cad bane last up in this wave and this is a pretty cool figure in my opinion as well i like cad bane but 
for me personally, I already own the Clone Wars Cad Bane and I don't really need another. So if you don't own that version of Cad Bane and you need one still, this will be a great way to pick them up. But uh, the similarities are just too similar for me to have two of essentially the same figure. And then for Black Series Wave 39, we only have two of the figures revealed. There's still another rumored three figures to be a part of this wave, but we have no clue what they are yet. Maybe we'll get some reveals at San Diego Comic-Con in July, but we'll have to wait and see. Regardless, these are two Mandalorian Season 3 characters, so maybe this will be another Mando wave, but we do have the Mandalorian Fleet Commander. We did see him a few times in uh, the Mandalorian Season 3, so it's cool to be getting a figure of him and getting some more of those background Mandos. And we also do have R5, which I'm really excited for. I thought R5 killed it in Mando Season 3, and I think you could either put him on the New Hope shelf or the Mando shelf, so I'm really excited for R5. Plus, R5 is actually on the brand new R2 body, so with that new astromech body, the proportions are better with a lot more features and accessories, so really excited for that. Now again, this wave is probably not going to hit stores until mid-2024. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, hopefully it gets pushed up a little earlier. It's some, some of those waves like tend to come out earlier than they are originally announced to be, but we'll have to wait and see. It's kind of hit or miss some of the time. But that is actually all of the mainline wave figures that we do have, but we do have some 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi figures, so looking at wave 3 of the 40th Anniversary Return of the Jedi, first up we do have the brand new Luke Skywalker. This is really, really awesome. It does reuse that light cruiser Luke from the Mandalorian body, so really nice to see that brand new Luke Skywalker body getting put to use. It's a huge improvement over the original version, and it's about time that this figure got a new version, because I believe the first release was back in like 2015 so it's been almost seven years since we've got a version of luke skywalker in this outfit in the line so beyond excited for this one we also do have the return of the jedi darth vader in this wave and this one does have a lot of improvements for starters he does have a removable helmet with the face sculpt underneath which is incredible the last version of this darth vader that we got was all the way back in again 2015 so he was definitely due for an upgrade and that photo reel on the face looks incredible he also does have the removable wrist, so you can kind of like have it cut off like it was in Return of the Jedi if you would like. So pretty cool overall, and I can confirm he is on the Empire Strikes Back body, so he does have the butterfly joints unlike the Kenobi and New Hope version. So this one will probably be the definitive version of Darth Vader in the line. And then last up, we actually do have R2-D2. This one is what I was kind of mentioning before, but it is a brand new sculpt for R2. That is the accurate scale for Astromex in the line. So this one is a huge upgrade. He has a lot of accessories and little panels that can that can like pop open and screwdrivers and saws and stuff that can pop out. So super cool figure overall. And it's about time we got the two scale version of the Astromex in the line. Now, this one I'm just speculating on, but there are three brand new figures in Wave 3 of the 40th with uh, Luke, R2, and Vader. And there are three missing spots from Black Series Wave 39, so my guess is they're going to repack those in the Return of the Jedi packaging and release those a part of the main line. And then the fourth and final member of the Wave 3 of 40th Anniversary is a re-release of the Royal Guard. Again, this one's just a re-release, but it's really nice to get this one in the line again. And especially for people who don't have this figure originally, it's a nice way to get it. Like me, I don't own this figure, so I'm definitely going to pick up two of them. Now, we also do have some Return of the Jedi 40th exclusives. Now, this one is a Hasbro Pulse Shop Disney exclusive, and it is a re-release of Jabba the Hutt. Now, it is about time we got a re-release of Jabba the Hutt because we haven't seen him in the line in a long time. And this one is actually a re-release of the San Diego Comic-Con version, so it does come with a little wraparound, like, uh, armrest dais thing, which is super cool. Uh, this is one that, again, that was exclusive to San Diego Comic-Con, so it's really nice to kind of get that as a mainline release uh, rather than it being locked into a SDCC exclusive and it also does come with the updated version of Salacious Crumb. Now uh, this one was actually exclusive to the uh, like the Disney Store Animals Creatures pack so it's nice to again get this one re-released in an actual set with Jabba. Next up for 40th exclusives, we have another Disney Store slash Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and it is the Force Spirit 3-pack. I'm beyond excited for this one. It does come with Obi-Wan, which is a re-release updated with Photo Reel. It also does come with the uh, newer sculpt for Yoda that came with the Luke and Yoda 2-pack that 
this one is Force Ghostified, so uh, it is different from the original Walmart exclusive release. And we do have the brand new Force Ghost Anakin, which has never been seen in the line before, so beyond excited for this one. The next up we do have the Rebel Commando. This one is the last up of the 40th exclusives. And this one is a deluxe figure, which I just can't quite justify a deluxe price for him. But essentially he's like the Hoth Rebel Soldier, but Endor version. He does have the swappable face, so you can customize him and I guess army build him, which is super cool. Absolutely love it. And this is one I'm really excited for. But again, it's hard to justify that 30, what, 31, 32 dollar deluxe price. So it's a little bit of a shame, but I'm still definitely picking up at least one of these guys and I'll probably end up picking up two. Moving on to some gaming greats figures that have been announced, we do have Old Master Maul based off of his hero skin in Battlefront 2. Now this one is very close to a Rebels Maul, so if you wanted to customize this into that it would be very easy, all you really have to do is get some kind of cloak. So yeah, really excited for this one, I love the Battlefront 2 skin so it's nice to get him in figure form. Now we also do have another Battlefront 2 skin, and it is a Battle Damage General Grievous, and honestly, this one doesn't really live up to the hype. I absolutely love the design of the Battle Damage General Grievous in the game, and this one just adds a few scuffs here and there. I would hardly call it Battle Damaged, and plus it is on that same original General Grievous mold, which is unfortunately kind of sucky, so uh, it's underscaled and the, the joints are very loose, so he has trouble standing up, and so if they didn't change any of that, honestly, I don't think this one is worth picking up. Next up we're moving on to deluxe figures that are non-exclusive so these will be mainline and will be released at any place you buy Black Series figures but first up we have Darth Malgus another I believe this one is uh, Thotor, so The Old Republic. I don't play the game, so I do apologize if I'm wrong, but uh, this guy looks incredible. He looks super menacing, and he's a big, beefy boy, which I absolutely love. I think he's definitely worth the deluxe price, and yeah, I'm excited for this one. Like I said, I haven't played the games, but I'm probably going to pick up this figure just because of how intimidating he looks. Another deluxe figure releasing is from Book of Boba Fett, and it is Black Kersantan. This one is a huge upgrade from the crappy comic book version that was released last Last year so beyond excited for this one and regardless of how you feel about Book of Boba Fett I think this Black Crusade figure is incredible and again I'm picking it up regardless of what I thought about Book of Boba Fett because it's a super cool big beefy Wookiee and he's gonna look great on the shelf so really excited for this one and yeah he kind of he kind of impressed me. Last up for non-exclusive deluxes, we do have the Luke and Grogu build-up pack, and this one I wasn't too fond about when it was first announced. I'm not a huge fan of Karate Dojo Luke, but it's growing on me, and that's mainly because of the amount of world building and accessories this set comes with. We do have an out-of-box photo here from Hybrid Toys Review, so make sure you go check him out, he is linked in the description. But this thing comes with a ton of accessories. Uh, I'm not going to name them all here because there's a lot and it'll take a long time, but look at the photo. There's a ton here. Everything you get in this for that deluxe uh, build-a-figure price. So I'm really excited for this set and I'll, I'll probably pick this one up. I don't know if I'll pick it up for full price, but all of these deluxe figures do go on clearance. So once I did clearance, I'll definitely pick up one of them. Moving on to store exclusives that are like normal, regular priced figures, we do have all of the Season 2 Bad Batch figures. We do have, obviously, the main crew with Echo, Tech, Wrecker, and Hunter. All these guys look incredible, and so if you did miss out on any of the Season 1 versions, the Season 2 versions would be a great way to get these characters. Now, me personally, I own all of the Season 1 versions, so I probably won't upgrade to the Season 2 versions. I'll probably just keep with what I got, but there are a few plus sides of all these figures, like Tech has the goggles, Hunter has the holsters. There's a lot of upsides, so it, it may be a tough decision, but I'm 100% picking up at least two of those plain white commandos. They look super clean clean, super stunning, and I absolutely love the commando design, so I'm picking up at least two of those because they're one of my favorites. Now, all these figures are Walmart exclusives, so they might be decently hard to find in store, but they aren't supposed to release until September, so we'll probably have some time to look out for them and hunt for them. Next up, we do have uh, Lieutenant Jesse, or I guess this one is actually Commander Jesse, even though he's just an ARC Trooper, but regardless, we do have ARC Trooper Jesse. He does have the Phase 1 helmet, which is unfortunate, but overall, he looks incredible from the neck down, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, I like this figure, and we actually do have some out-of-box photos already, so considering that we do have some people with this figure already in hand, I would not be surprised 
surprised if this guy releases a little early. He's expected to release in August, so he might ship early or uh, he might start hitting stores a little early. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, he's going to be hitting stores very soon. Speaking of Walmart exclusive ARC Troopers, we have the man, the myth, the legend himself, ARC Trooper 5s, finally making an appearance in the Black Series. This is a figure I've been asking for forever, and I am beyond excited to get him in the line. And he's expected to release in September, so a little bit later in the year, but still in 2023 nonetheless, so super excited for this one. And you know I have to say it, hashtag we made TBS 5s. So do have the Shop Disney exclusive Doc Ondar. Really excited for this one. It's nice to get a hammerhead in the line, but the real hitter on this one was a $45 price tag. I love the hammerhead design, but I just cannot pay $45 for this thing. Up next is Kiati Mundi. This one is a fan channel exclusive and isn't supposed to release until early 2024, which blows my mind because he was announced early 2023. So a full year wait for this guy is unfortunate, but he's a long awaited Jedi Master that we don't have in the line yet. So he's definitely worth the wait. Now, unfortunately, no pre-orders on this guy. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do pre-orders, but it is unfortunate. So this one is going to be one when it goes up on the fan channels, you have to make sure to be there to get it. We also do have two two-packs coming into the line. First up is the Amazon exclusive Carbonized Purge Trooper and Ned B two-pack. This one is just brain dead in my opinion. For one, these two figures should not be packed together. They don't really interact at all. I know they're both from Kenobi, but they're just not a good two-pack together. And two, the Carbonized line needs to die. The Carbonized line is kind of stupid at this point, especially with the plastic-free packaging. So... This is just a brain dead thing in my opinion and the price is outrageous as well, but it is expected to release in September if you are interested. And then there is also the Cobb Vanth and Cad Bane 2 pack from their duel in Book of Boba Fett. Really excited for this one. Uh, I think this one is a good example of a 2 pack. Also does come with some deluxe accessories as well as some exclusive face prints. So really excited for this one. And this one is supposed to release pretty soon. It is a Target exclusive, but it is a good way to get that Cad Bane early because the single release of this Cad Bane isn't supposed to release until early 2024. And then we do have some pipeline reveals, and I will go through these ones pretty quick considering we don't have a lot of information on them, but we do have the first wave of Archive for 2024, and that one is Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing outfit, Darth Vader in his New Hope outfit, a Stormtrooper, and Bo-Katan. So overall, a decent wave. I think there's a few I would switch out, but this one is going to be one of, I'm guessing, three for 2024. Normally, there's been three every year, so uh, I think it's safe to assume there'll be three archive waves in 2024. Now, we also do have this pipeline reveals. We do have a re-release of Paz Vizsla from The Mandalorian. This one is a kind of a stupid re-release in my opinion, but we also have... Uh, Grief Karga's droid from The Mandalorian, another interesting choice, but it's okay. And we do have the two heavy hitters of this pipeline wave. We have Kid Anakin and Padme from Episode 1. Really excited for these two figures. We need more Episode 1 re representation in the line, and this is a good start for it, especially with that Kid Anakin, because he's a main character of Episode 1. And then moving on with pipelines, we do have Obi-Wan in his final appearance from Kenobi. So that one is a Walmart exclusive, as well as a Force Ghost Qui-Gon. Pretty cool, another Walmart exclusive. We also do have pre Vizsla, which I am beyond excited for. It's about time we've got him in the line. He's not marked with any uh, he's not marked with any exclusive tags, so hopefully he's mainline. But we also do have the Tard exclusive Battle Damage Darth Vader. This one I'm beyond excited for. I love that scene in Kenobi, and it's gonna be really nice to get that battle damaged mask. And then last up, we do have a Commander Appa, which I believe is supposed to be from the Book of Boa Fett flashback. So we'll have to see what they do with this figure. To be honest, I think it's all up in the air at this point, but pretty excited, and I believe all these figures are rumored for 2024 so we'll have to wait and see maybe they'll surprise us and release in 2023 but at this point it's hard to tell anyway guys that is going to do it for this video if you did enjoy hit the like button and subscribe and make sure to go down and leave a comment with all your thoughts on these figures because i think there are some pretty cool ones out here and i'll see all you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching